today we're going to take a look at the new release of DevPod version 0.3. With this new release, we've added two new IDEs, Fleet and Jupyter Notebook. There are also a few other bug fixes and features that we have added. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll start off with Jupyter Notebook. So what you would do is create a workspace. You would enter in the GitHub repository, and then you would go down and select the Jupyter Notebook option for the IDE. Let's go ahead and create that workspace, see what happens. Since we're using the Docker provider with this, what it's going to go ahead and do is get that container set up for us and start it within Docker. Once that's finished out, it'll go ahead and bring up a browser for us. And as you can see, it's a Jupyter Notebook. We'll go ahead and select the IPYNB file. Uh, this is just a Python uh, print hello world. We'll go ahead and hit play and success. Okay, so as you can see, we've added dark mode, but what we'll do here is we're gonna check out Fleet next. So dark mode's really cool, but Fleet's pretty cool too. So for those who are using JetBrains for everything instead of VS Code or some of the other IDEs we have, we've added Fleet. So as you can see, we just created a new workspace with Fleet. Uh, everything is getting started. And what it's gonna go ahead and do is bring up Fleet for us. And as you can see, it's a pretty similar experience as using VS Code. And that was just a quick overview of some of the stuff that was added with DevPod 0.3. So if you like our content, like, subscribe, and join us here for more information on Loft, DevPod, vCluster, and DevSpace, and any of the other stuff related to development and uh, Kubernetes. But uh, thanks for watching. Bye.